and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's been about a month since I filmed my last video and I've just been kind of getting on top of a lot of things and also brainstorming a lot of ideas. But I'm back and I'm putting together some really nice videos, um, quite informative. I know that you, you guys have asked me for an array of videos and I really, really want to get through them, like my morning routine, some more lookbooks, but today I'm gonna be doing what's in my handbag, but it's gonna be like, um, like a summer handbag one, because in the summer I always like to go for smaller handbags, they're just more convenient to carry, whereas I feel like in winter I have so much more stuff that I need to lug around with me, like coats and scarves. So yeah, this is like the mini summer version. I apologise if you've seen some of these items a lot, um, but they are kind of my essentials that go everywhere with me, so if you've seen them on my Instagram or on my blog, sorry. <laughs> they're just what I shove in my handbag and use on a daily basis. So let's get started. So this is my mini Balenciaga handbag. I don't actually know what the name is. I think it's like a mini city bag or something. Um, I got this on eBay. This is my little pride and joy at the moment. It's my favorite handbag and you've probably seen it far too many times on my Instagram for anyone's liking, but I just love it. It's the first sort of mini handbag that I feel that I really, really like and I wear a lot. I've got a few and I haven't worn them as much as I wear this one, so it's my favorite at the moment. So the first item in my handbag is obviously one for summer, and it's some sunglasses. And these are my Celine New Audrey sunglasses that I got a while ago, and I love them. I wear them so much. They're so chic, and obviously with a name like Audrey, they're inspired by Audrey Hepburn. So I just feel totally fabulous when I wear them. <laughs> But I'm really, really bad with sunglasses and I don't actually take care of them. So I do tend to just shove them in my handbag without the slit on them. They come with like a sort of suede slit. I can never find them, so I just shove them in my handbag. <laughs> and it's like, like my dad's worst nightmare, so he'll kill me for putting that in this. But <laughs> Second up is an absolute essential for me. I'm always on my phone, constantly wherever I'm traveling. So. I need to have lots of battery power because I've got all of my notifications turned on on my phone for emails, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So it's always lighting up and it runs out so quickly. Not to mention that Snapchat, I swear, just rinses your battery. Like I'll be on 100% and then I leave Snapchat running in the background and I go back and it's on like 50. So <laughs> the long-winded reasoning for this, but I carry a battery. Leanne told me about this um, and it actually has four charges in it. I've never used all four. I've come close but I've never used all four. So that I feel is like an accomplishment. Um, but yeah, that's, that's always in my handbag wherever I go. So it's a bit battered now and I've not even had it that long. It's a lifesaver and if I'm ever at events, I'm always happy to like share the battery. Sarah stole some off me last night, so um, it's always nice to have for other people as well. Next up I have is my Kate Spade business card holder. I ordered my business cards about a year ago and I only ordered 50 of them and I've still got loads left. I never end up giving them out, it's really rare that I ever give them out but um, I've never really been asked for them which is weird but I keep my business cards in here, I think it's really really cute, I saw it a couple of months ago and I thought that's a really nice way to keep them because they were getting battered in my handbag um, and on it it says let's do lunch, it's engraved on it and it's just so cute and I always get nice compliments on it when I get it out which is rare because I never get it out but when I do. <laughs> Then I obviously have my cards because I can't fit a purse in here, so I have to sort of take everything out of my purse and put it in the side pocket. So I've got my driving license, my boots card, which I use so much, and my bank card, that's fairly boring. Then I always have an invisible ball. Um, these things are my lifesavers. I use them so much and I go on about them so much, but especially when it's hot at the moment, my hair is like, wearing a hat and scarf in this weather, so I constantly sort of whack it up in a bun on the top of my head to get it off my shoulders, to get it off from around my face, and it instantly cools me down, so these are great. They also don't kink your hair, so it means that if I've curled my hair like I have today, it won't ruin it, and it also doesn't give you a headache because they're not too tight, which is great when you've got thick and long hair like I have. Um, if you haven't tried them, I was sceptical to begin with. They aren't things for like holding tight style, so if you want something for when you're going out, this is probably not the thing, but if you want something to just chuck your hair up, they're perfect. And next up, I have something you're probably bored of seeing, but it's my Olympus camera. Um, I only shoot my Instagram images on this 
with the kit lens so I kind of have to take it everywhere with me so it isn't essential in my handbag and if I ever do another what's in my handbag this will be in there because it's what um, I use to take my Instagram pictures on. I use it to take flat lays or outfit shots in the mirror or selfies or whatever. I just use it for all of those things. Um, so although it's a little bit big for this handbag, it does still fit and it means that I can still get everything else in it so it's not that much of a ball length to take everywhere with me. Then I have my Olympus's partner in crime, my 45mm lens, which is what I use to shoot outfits on when I'm on the go. It creates the blurry background so that if I'm just in London and I'm wearing an outfit that I like and I'm with a blogger friend that can take some snaps for me, I can just whack that on and I've got content. So it's really convenient and it means that I'm not lugging around um, a really big camera like my Canon, um, they're quite dangerous because they make you a target and um, they're just, I would hate to break it when I'm in London and I would just, I, it's just huge and it's inconvenient and so this is just perfect. Next I have some chewing gum, I've always got chewing gum, I usually don't have this flavour though, um, I usually have the Cherry Airwaves, I don't know why, I'm not really big on like just mint so I get the cherry one which I've just loved for ages and yeah it just tastes nice and it smells nice as well like when other people use it I'm like oh you smell really good. <laughs> so yeah that's chewing gum, always got to have chewing gum. Now obviously because this is a small bag I can't take my entire makeup kit with me so I just take the essentials which of course I don't leave the house without my signature lip combo which I wear all the time. I, whenever I try a different lipstick out I'm like it's nice but it's not this. Um, so this goes everywhere with me as well and um, I actually let some people try it out that haven't tried it before because quite a lot of people ask what lip combination I wear so this is a good way for them to see if they like it too because I don't like buying things without trying it first. So yeah, it's the Spice Liner from MAC and good luck, it's never in stock. I always have to buy bulk when it does come into stock because otherwise I can't get it when I need it and the same goes for Honey Love. Um, this is one of their matte lipsticks and it's my favourite. Doesn't suit me on its own at all, but when I put this underneath it, it looks really, really nice. Um, and it's been my favourite for nearly a year now. Um, I think I went to a matte counter and they told me that I should get Velvet Teddy, but they didn't have it in stock, so she did this combo and I much prefer it to this to Velvet Teddy. Um, so that's always in my hair bag. And then I have my foundation, which is the Bare Minerals in Tan. This is the loose powder because I have the compact, which they said was the same colour as this, but I actually find that this is a bit darker. And because I've got a tan at the moment, um, I don't want to put too light foundation on. And I have my MAC Kabuki brush, which has seen better days, but lasted for so long. Um, and these are, yeah, these are my favourites, and this sort of de-shines me if I get shiny, which I do when I'm walking around or whatever, I can just kind of dab it and it's fine. And this is just, I always find that this is a really good um, colour for my skin. They tend to adapt as well, like I, even though I'm quite tan now, when I lose my tan, I don't look weird when I still wear this. It kind of, I feel like it adapts to my skin tone, which is a bit of a weird thing to say because you buy different colours in foundations, but no, I really, really, really recommend Bare Minerals and I've used them for God knows how many years now. It must be almost, I don't know, eight years? I don't know. But yeah, my favourite. Then in the front pocket of my bag, I have a lens cleaner chamois. I don't ever leave the house without these. Um, this is one that I got at the Olympus Pen event that I hosted um, a few days ago. Uh, and it says, be a shepherd, not a sheep. And I quite like that. I usually just use a sunglasses one, but um, this is this has a nice little message on it, so why would I not pack it in my bag? Um, and yeah, I always have these in my bag to clean my phone screen, to clean my um, camera lens, and to clean my sunglasses, because I hate fingerprints, but I'm the kind of person that always has like oily hands. I don't know why, but I always have oily hands. I think it's because I like moisturizer quite a lot, so when I touch like my legs or my arms, I then get like residue which sounds gross, but yeah. And then I have my house keys, which has a dash key ring on that my friend Alex got me ages ago. Um, and I think that's from the Kardashians store. I don't, I don't know, I'm not really very clued up with the Kardashians. In this hot weather, my favorite thing to take with me at the moment is this. I found this in my drawer of like beauty bits that I've not tried yet. And it was like, 
hold on a minute, this is water in a can, but like spray, so it's not like, it's like, like really fine mist, I love my technical terms, um, and this is from Clay Spray, and um, yeah, this is their H2O spray, which is natural spring water, which hydrates and refreshes all skin types. This is my best friend when I have to get on the tube. I don't care who's around me, I'll spray it. Because if I'm hot, I'm not comfortable and I'm hating life. So, and it's really nice, it's a good size as well. So I can just like pop it in my handbag, in my little handbag, and it fits and it's convenient. And I get to be a little bit cooler when I'm in London or when I'm shopping or when I'm doing whatever. So this is really, really great. I don't know if there's anyone else that does this on the market. This is just what I found in my drawer. I didn't know that these were even a thing. And then last but not least, I do not leave my house without tweezers. Um, I have eyebrows that are very thick and they require plucking on a daily basis. So um, sometimes I miss one and I don't like being caught out. So if I like touch my, my brow bone and I can feel one, I'm like, oh my God, I've got to get that out. <laughs> so yeah, I don't leave the house without those. And so yeah, that's, oh, my phone. <laughs> Probably the most important thing, my phone, yes. Um, I have my phone in my handbag as well obviously um, and I have it in a case which I always get loads of compliments on um, and it's from my daughter it's a bit broken now though it's, I've dropped it and it's it's broken so there you have it that is everything that's in my handbag that's my essentials what I use daily what I need to travel with that is absolutely everything um, I've popped links to the bits that I could find below so if you want to pick anything up they're in there and um, yeah I'm just excited to be bringing you some more videos again hopefully I'm going to be managing my time and devoting to some more time to YouTube again um, I can't believe that I hit 10,000 subscribers that's mental I mean if I had known that it would be this much fun filming and editing videos I would have started a lot sooner so I always want to know what videos you guys want from me don't hesitate to leave them in the comments below if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you did. Um, and God, this list is never ending. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I love Snapchat. So come and follow me on there. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.